top five long distance rifles. Let's get it started. All right. Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and yes, we are coming at you guys today with another top five video, but this one is gonna be all about distance guns, and I have found some pretty cool ones, I think. We're starting off with the Steyr SSG-08A1, and yes, it is the same people, Steyr, that make the Steyr AUG that you see right there, which has been uh, pretty much a very popular and fan favorite for a long time, but they also make precision rifles. This one here chambered in 308, and it is a, uh, she heavy, let me tell you that much. It's coming in at about 15.2 pounds, uh, 20 inch. It is a carbon fiber barrel, which is very cool. Notice the three chamber break on this guy as well. That thing right there is probably gonna help mitigate w the recoil on this greatly, but it's 308 and doesn't like to stay upright. I'm just gonna keep it there for now. But it is 308 anyway, which is a easy, easy cartridge to handle. And with the weight of this guy being f over 15 pounds, uh, yeah, the recoil on this. I'm actually really excited to shoot this guy uh, once we get around to that giveaway. <clears throat> what? What did I say? But anyway, uh, still looking for an optic combo to run on this guy, but you'll notice the Picatinny rail runs the top length of the rail and or the receiver. And also, too, you have these Picatinny that it comes with that you can move up and down the side here. Same thing on the opposite side. Also includes the big bulky bipod you see back here, which is really cool. And for those uh, dirty and dusty environments, features a dust cover, too. That's kind of neat, right? But uh, let's check out that trigger on it because the trigger I am actually pretty excited about too. This thing feels great. I'll go ahead and just show you guys. It is a two-stage adjustable trigger, so you can adjust travel and everything with this guy. And you'll see we have just a little bit of take up before we hit that wall, and it comes factory set at three and a half pounds. Yeah, that's crisp. And it does surprise you because you hit that wall and there's a little bit more travel and then all of a sudden, boom. And that's great to try to get those distant shots off for sure. You don't want to ever anticipate the shot, all right? The stock on this guy too is adjustable length of pull, adjustable comb height. You have a an adjustable monopod, which is pretty neat. Just has a little button on the, on the side over here that allows it to retract and uh, detract. But also too, if you wanted to get finer adjustments, you can just twist, which is pretty cool. So overall, a really nice setup. And it's also a side folding stock and it just requires a little bit of pushing down and then folding over. And that's something that you don't see a whole lot of. Uh, the other firearm that I can think of right now is the FN Ballista that I have seen do that. And a lot of people kind of steer away from that idea because they think it takes away from the precision capabilities of the rifle. Uh, however, <laughs> I think I think it's just fine. I don't see an issue with that, especially with that big bulky hinge on this guy over here. I say this thing's gonna line up into the exact same spot every single time once you unfold it. And it's also great for carrying and travel and things like that, all right? So pretty cool. Detachable box mag right underneath as well. Holds a uh, 10 rounds of 308, which is pretty neat. And it just has these little tabs you squeeze in and it pops right out. Pretty neat stuff. Let's get the next one over here. Next up is this beauty right here. We were talking about big, heavy, and bulky. Now we got something extremely light. When I picked it up, I was like, man, this can't weigh more than like four pounds, but it does actually weigh 7.2 pounds. You gotta think that weight being dispersed all across the body of the gun. It does have a carbon fiber wrapped barrel, and that's because if this barrel looks like it's a proof research barrel, that's because this is a proof research rifle. This is the Mountain Tactical Rifle, which is pretty cool. And I love this composite stock on it because guys, it's, tr it's tough, durable, strong, and super lightweight. Oh my goodness. It does come with a Magpul 5, uh, five round. This is their Magnum long action magazine. Notice how thin and skinny that guy is, which uh, I think we're pretty much gotten into like the hunter class of rifles, right? Throw on an optic on here, a nice lightweight bipod to keep the overall weight down on this guy. And then you could take this out into the woods and go do whatever type of hunting you want to do. 300 Win Mag 2 is no joke. You're going to be able to reach out to <laughs> great distances and still have a lot of energy on impact. And you'll notice too that this guy does come threaded. So there, it, it's just, you know, just a cap over here. So if you wanted to throw a, uh, a break on here for 
flash hider, whatever you want to do to try to help mitigate some of the recoil, uh, especially with a brake. You probably want to do that. I can only imagine what about a seven pound rifle is going to feel like when I pull the trigger on this. Uh, do a 300 Win Mag. I'm super excited about it, but we will see. Also too, this stock is probably one of the most ergonomic stocks I have felt. Looks funky. That's because the human body's funky, right? So putting your, getting a cheek weld on this, I feel like my <laughs> imagining there an optic on here, I, uh, it's, it's gonna be great. That's all there is to it. Get some low profile rings on this guy and it'll be a great shooter, I think, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the trigger on this one as well because this one caught me off guard for sure. So go ahead and take a look at this. This is a trigger tech trigger and we'll go ahead and just start applying a little bit of pressure. <laughs> That's all she wrote. That's coming in about two pounds or so. And man, this thing is an absolute beauty. Again, proof research, mountain tactical rifle. I am super excited to head to the range with this one day and get some pretty fun shots off with it. But that video will come out one day soon. You can only imagine why I would keep this in the house. Yeah. Next rifle. Next up is the AR-10. And the reason I'm gonna throw that one in the probably the top five distance guns is because of just how simple and how common they have become. And actually, AR-10s were the ones that kinda led the way for the AR-15, all right? If y'all didn't know, the 762 NATO or 762 by 51 308, whatever you wanna call it, uh, came first prior to the 5.56 AR-15, which is pretty cool. But this guy here is my personal AR-10. It's an aero precision rifle, the M5 is what they call it. And this is actually, was all parts. Uh, my wife bought me, believe it or not, guys, Get yourself a woman that'll buy you gun parts, all right? It's it's a good time. But anyway, barrel and everything, ballistic advantage, uh, all of the stuff you can find on our website if you wanna build something similar to, but I am definitely a fan of the AR-10 platform and I encourage all of you guys to go out there and build one. They're actually easier to build than the AR-15, all right? But the performance you get out of these guys is great, even shooting suppressed. I've got the Yankee Hill titanium can on this guy and with their muzzle brake on it, which makes for a very light recoiling gun, as you can imagine. But also too, this guy has an 18 inch, like I said, ballistic advantage fluted barrel, cuts down a little bit on weight. I have an entire rifle length system on here, including the gas system, and then also a rifle buffer back here. This is probably, I'm proud to say, one of the lightest recoiling 308s I've ever shot. And I'm not just saying that because I put it together. But all of you guys can have something very similar if you want, if you want to reach out to distances about a thousand yards or so if you wanted to. I would say the 308 is definitely capable of that, even excess of that, depending on conditions, of course. But yeah, all in all, I'm super happy with this. And thanks again, wife, Leopold Optic, because Leopold just makes great stuff. Don't we know? And uh, yeah, other thing too, the Sharps Brothers wood furniture on here, I thought just gave it a very elegant look. And uh, yeah, you can make just about anything you want yours, especially in the AR platform. We've talked about the Steyr and the Proof Research, but those are straight from the factory. It's cool to kind of get the gun parts in to you, pick up your receiver from the FFL and start going to town and building it out however you want. And I think uh, I just recommend that for everybody. Learn, learn, shoot, go have fun, all right. But the AR-10, definitely top five, if not Mm, it might not be my number one, uh, we'll see. But all right, let's move on to the next one. Next one up is the FN SCAR 20S. And yeah, we know the SCAR 17 and it's 50 shades of FDE, tactical UGG boot, all that type of fun stuff. But when I first saw the 20S, I looked at it and I'm like, 50 shades of FDE, sure, but it looks more like a green color, olive drab tint to the uh, receiver, the upper receiver. I don't know, let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments, but the SCAR 20, uh, it gets its name from having a 20 inch barrel. Makes sense, right? So this one is specifically chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, which we were excited about um, when we heard the news at SHOT Show that they were making these guys in 6.5. And also it was a big deal that they were making them in all black. It's kind of like the basic if you ask me, but whatever. So anyway, SCAR 20S, this one also comes with the Surefire Pro, Com, Pro, Pro Comp on it, which is a excellent break, really cuts down on recoil, makes it a real flat shooter, but 6.5 Creedmoor is a great cartridge. Looks like it might be taking the place of 7.62 NATO. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section about that too, all right? And I am overall a fan of the SCAR platform with its adjustable gas system. The 20S has an extended rail on it, which is really cool. So if you wanted to throw out bipods, optics, whatever you need on this gun, you can do that, which is very neat. And uh, AMB safety, which is cool. 
It does have an ergo grip, which I also like. And another thing I like is the trigger on it. This is the Geisley Super Scar trigger. And uh, we'll go ahead and just ghost that real quick because this thing is nice. So you'll see that it is a two-stage trigger and it's going to have just a little bit of take up. Pretty much the same trigger I have in my custom, my, my Aero Precision AR, except, you know, for an AR, not for a SCAR. So let's just add a little bit of pressure now. And then that's that. That is sweet. And check out the reset. Nice short travel, lightweight trigger. This thing is sweet. Ships with one 10 round mag and the 20S is a beast guys and i am actually curious to hear what you guys think about you know 65 creedmoor versus 762 nato and we have an entire video all about that actually so go check that out and uh, drop me a comment down over there and i'll see you guys there this stock here remember how i said some companies don't prefer the folding stock and that's what we were told when we asked it's like well the scar 17 has a folding stock why not put it on the scar 20 well they wanted precision but fn also makes the ballista which is a precision rifle that has a folding stock so i was like Okay, I will take your word for it and just run with it. But it does have an, an a adjustable length of pull and a, an adjustable uh, comb height, which is very cool. And overall, I think this gun is super sweet, fun to shoot. We've given away the 6.5 Creedmoor model before, and I really enjoyed shooting this guy, reciprocating charging handle and all. But uh, yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. And speaking of beast, let's talk about our next gun our last up on the list happens to also be our current giveaway guys the barrett 50 bmg m82a1 this iconic classic rifle has been around eliminating everything in its path since 1989 i think is when it started being in service uh, but produced designed 1980 finally 1982 hence m82 is when production first started on this guy and the united states military adopted it in the early 90s late 80s and it has just been wrecking things ever since 50 bmg it is a great cartridge, and if you want to see this thing shoot, well, just scroll back. Just type in Classic Firearms 50 BMG or 50 Cal, and you'll see plenty of videos pop up of us having some uh, trigger time with either this, the M107 HTI by Desert Tech, which is also a great gun. And uh, But ultimately, whenever you have a gun shooting this caliber in a semi-auto detachable magazine operating system here or recoil operated system, it's a good day. It's just a heck of a lot of fun. Check out the two chamber break on this guy on the 29 inch fluted barrel. Sure, the flutes definitely help with uh, weight reduction, but more so heat mitigation in this case, because this, this guy's over 30 pounds, all right? And uh, yes, I do run a drill with it. As much as it sucked, it was a whole lot of fun to do, that's for sure. Now shooting it, shooting these guys is very, very easy. Once you're into a stable shooting position, trying to actually shoulder this guy and keep it up there for a whole mag, once you start shooting, it's easy, right? This recoil actually kind of keeps it flat shooting, which is kind of crazy to think about, but it's very easy to shoot once you start pulling the trigger. But just holding it there, yeah, yeah, you'll notice you start to struggle a little bit, all right? Then again, depends on how many weights you lift, all right? But ultimately, this guy was designed to stop light armored vehicles, depending on the type of round that you're shooting. It could penetrate even some light like tanks, things like that. I mean, this thing is a beast and has seen service all over the world through many different countries of, of service. Uh, but mostly the United States has been like, <laughs> yeah, something that big right there, we will take it. Also, too, fun little fact, Tennessee adopted this as their state gun. So that's pretty cool, right? But uh, anyway, the 50 BMG has been around uh, for quite some time. Actually stands for Browning Machine Gun because John Moses Browning, we talk about him a lot here on the channel because he is very influential. I guess you could say pretty much the end all be all as far as it comes to modern guns, which is so cool. But anyway, he designed the Ma Deuce, which is also still in service today. Uh, and it's a big old 50 caliber machine gun, Browning machine gun, right? And uh, he, well, Ronnie Barrett pretty much designed this gun to shoot the same cartridge, but in a semi-auto configuration and more of a sniper system. I use that term loosely on this rifle because it's not designed to be a precision rifle. It's made for targets, you know, like the size of vehicles, but it can still be very precise, uh, you know, provide shooting gun with an effective range of 1800 meters. So 
yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and continue talking about this guy a little bit since, you know, it is our current giveaway as well. We do have this paired up with a Leupold Mark V HD. It's a 3.6 to 18 power optic and a 44 objective lens on it. And oh, guys, the Trimmer 3 reticle in its first focal plane is beautiful. I hands down recommend it. It looks busy, right? But once you learn to read it and shoot with it, especially at great distance, it's, it's, it's easy. It becomes so easy. But another cool thing, like I mentioned before with the Steyr SSG, uh, this does include a monopod right back here, which I am a huge fan of because all you got to do is rotate this guy and that can adjust your elevation some. If you need to go for greater adjustments, just unloose the knob or I guess you could say loosen up the knob over here and then you can make greater adjustments easy enough, right? Now the trigger on this guy, <laughs> uh, it's less than perfect. Let's just call it that, right? It's a little mushy. And uh, let's make sure that's clear before I blow a hole into the next county. Um, uh, but you'll see there's a little bit of take up here before we hit a wall and then a little bit of more take up, a little bit of mush and then a uh, heavy hammer drop. Here it comes. There it goes. So yeah, it's not, like I said, made for precision shots. It's made for getting quick shots off accurately, again, at light armored vehicles if need be, right? So other cool things that it comes with, carry handle, <laughs> much recommend and uh, the bipod on it, big beefy bipod, which is also adjustable too. So really cool gun and the entire operating system on this is just so neat. The barrel actually reciprocates. I'm not gonna be, yeah, I can't do that. But anyway, it's got two like recoil springs under here that are under about 70 pounds of tension. So as you can imagine, this guy puts out quite a bit of power, all right? But the M82 A1 50 BMG classic iconic gun paired up with this Leupold Mark V HD as our current giveaway is an absolute beast of a giveaway. And if you wanna see a cool video, go check out Whistling Diesel. He posts up some pretty crazy stuff as it is. So you can imagine once we gave him a his own M82A1, he was gonna have some pretty crazy stuff to do with that too. So go check that out. And this one here belongs to one of you guys out there watching. And of course, I just wanna go ahead and uh, let you guys know Yes, we are classic firearms. Yes, we love to give away guns and spread the 2A joy everywhere that we possibly can. No purchase necessary, and it's not how many entries you have. All it takes is one, but the greater the entries or the more you have, the better your chances, all right? Just a random number drawing is all it is. So uh, head on over to classicfirearms.com, get those entries in for our, well, my favorite long distance gun, the M82A1, the Leupold Optic here, and, uh, yeah, you're just not going to miss out on that, all right? So we'll end the video off there. Again, classicfirearms.com is where you can get your entries. Hit that top banner. It's going to take you to a web page that shows you all the different ways to get your entries. One of those ways is a code word. It's very simple. It's actually a code abbreviation. Can you guess it? B-M-G. B-M-G. That's all it is. Go get those 400 extra points. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.